Welcome back everyone. Today is Thursday, September 2nd, and I've got a late start. The video that was supposed to be up for today's uh, 345 uh, uploading uh, must have got corrupted, one of the files, and it would go to right near the end and then it would it would just it would never export the whole way so i'm i've got to redo it i tried multiple times to do the one it must have a bad file in there or something so it's already oh, it's almost 11 30. so i'm just gonna get a little bit done over here while it's nice out and uh, i want to move this pile i got to build this up over here i still have a lot to build up over here and I want to take advantage of it. You can see this gumbo is dried out pretty nice. I'll still end up sinking as you'll see, but probably not as bad. So if I can get back out here and keep digging this back, it'll be good. But I want to get rid of this big pile. And it's got a lot of that really blue gumbo in it that uh, I've showed in other videos how bad that is. <laughs> so I want to try to get that on the bottom so then I can put some better stuff over top of it. So every time it rains, once this is finished, we won't be in the muck. So, all right, I'm going to get to it. I don't even know where I'm going to start, but probably right here. And look how nice that flag is shining there in the sun. Well, I know I had a few, had a few people respond back to the challenge. I don't think anybody that I actually called out did, so uh, maybe everybody go get on them a little bit and, uh, <laughs> and go tell them to, uh, that I challenge them to put these flags up on their machine. So here we go. Out here first.
dropping the lake by uh, six inches. about two hours give you a little intermediate so I got down probably uh, four to six feet on this whole edge built that up quite a bit over there that's the height so now I'll get back in here and I'll just pull a little bit more of that back and then I'm gonna start digging down into here but this uh this will give us quite a bit of material and i'm happy there's a lot of good stuff in this so just letting it have a little rest cool down a little bit it's not hot today but 21 years old it's almost got 11,000 hours give her a little rest
end of the day it is 3 42 and I started about 10 so did quite a bit today give everybody a look which you haven't been able to see either I tracked in that portion of uh, what I had built I don't know how long a couple of months ago <clears throat> whatever it was I've never actually went on top of it because I built it from down there so I just tracked that in just a little bit just to stabilize it and uh, level it off a little bit so I can go down I'm gonna wait obviously till I get a dozer on here to do it but so that was good and well, you'll never be able to tell from up here probably but I took about probably about six feet off that end vertical distance off the end of goose and transferred it back up here and was able to actually well, I'll have to get another shot of it but where the excavator is uh, this is all built up and like I said I was gonna leave what's here level with where I am right now so I'll get a shot from over there as well because you know, you'll see how much I dug down well you could you saw it in the video um, with the waterfall and all that so um, but I did want to go over here and that's as far as I got started to sink again as I told you in the previous video about uh, how this stuff is so I could be marooned here <laughs> uh, for a while um, I got to build up the rest of this and then I can go around probably if I need to get out for anything but um, that'll dry even more it's compacted down even more but um, I started to build this up and a lot of this is wet this is what I dug up out of the water out of the end there so that takes a day or two to dry before I can track over it but uh, yeah I did a lot today so I'm happy with it I would have liked to have gotten that pile knocked down but again it's better I stay in one spot when I can um, so this is Friday as again I said this is Friday Memorial Day weekend um, I mean Labor Day weekend um, so I don't even know well tomorrow I could probably do a little bit but I'm not sure I don't even think I can get out there because this is where I really need to get now so that I can continue here but either way I'll dig up if I have to I'll dig up on this side um, but well I'll get a couple other shots so I just put some fuel in and the other thing I'm going to show and again I'm not sponsored by this thing but these just right safety cans are fabulous I bought a one for gasoline as well I actually bought this one and put gas in it at first um, they didn't have a red one so I bought a red one as well but um, they they work really good and they have this uh, I don't I don't really like it I, the gas can I bought it has this funnel that attaches it attaches to it kind of like right there so when you pour it in this thing's always attached but I don't know to me it doesn't pour fast enough and uh, kind of gets in my way so I took it off but um, yeah there's no way for me to get my truck in here to uh, transfer it out of the tank so I bring uh, 17 gallons a day with me down and that seems to uh, just about do it so all right well let me uh, I got one more six gallon can to put in and grease it and then I'll get a, sh a couple of other shots all right here's a look from out on the end and again I don't know if you can see it but it's sloped up so I took because it was almost level before so I took probably six feet off the vertical depth so I'm probably seven feet eight feet from the water right now this is probably about where the water level will be when the dam is closed up so I did take a little bit out of there but as you saw I dug this all down uh, as far as I pretty much could before I started uh, breaking loose on the edge so I will still continue to dig that back because there's good stuff over on this end not so much on the gumbo side except I'm gonna have to use it anyway because I'm gonna need it but I am need some of this to top dress the uh, road when I'm done <clears throat> so well again that doesn't give you any any height but it's probably about 20 feet from the water to the top there it's probably 20 22 feet I would say so give you a little visual perspective on that all right well maybe i'll get a shot from the other side but i'll probably forget so i'll say it now thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one
Okay, well, I didn't forget. Well, I almost did forget, but as I walked back from the shop, I remembered I didn't make this film. So here you go, a little look. I guess that gives a perspective of how big the excavator actually is. But uh, you can see how close to the water we are now down there. And that's where I've got to get to. Well, no, that's wrong. I need to get to over there. But right now, <laughs> I need to get to over there. This is the part where all that gumbo is bad. That's where, that's where I was start, you know, starting to sink. And it's not as bad as when I got stuck over here. If you haven't watched that video, watch that one back about a year and a half ago. But anyway, <laughs> you still can't, I can't work efficiently that way. So, but uh, I thought this would give a better perspective for it. So there we go. So hope everybody has a good Labor Day weekend.